Hello, my friends. I want to give you an encouraging note about circumstances today. I often work with people in their chronic illness recovery using neuroplasticity with their circumstances because that can be an important factor in our recovery. We do need to build an environment at some point where we are in our training zone. The amount of load on our systems is not so high that we can't build calm or traction. But and also that we have an environment that is safe, meaning it's not full of continuous emotional volatility and unpredictability and things of that nature or physical, you know, unpredictability and volatility. Those kinds of environments where we're overloaded or constantly being triggered by, you know, things outside of us are circumstances that will prolong recovery. There's lots of different circumstances that can make recovery more difficult in the moment. Now, here's the part that's encouraging. Ironically, in the five years I've been coaching with um, coaching neuroplasticity and recovery, and I started my journey seven and a half years ago, so I saw people, you know, kind of alongside as well in recovery. It's, it's been a it's been a minute, and actually, the most difficult circumstance to recover in is one where you have no stress at all, no real need to recover. The people I've seen who've actually stayed stuck and not really fully recovered are the people who have all of their their basic survival needs met. They've got the bills paid, they've got somewhere to live, everything's good, everything's amazing, there's no pressure, they don't have children or obligations or any you know career to go back to or passions they want to regain. They're just kind of chilling. And those are the, the cases I've seen where people actually don't recover fully. They might get to a place where they're feeling better, but they're not really living a full life. Because ultimately in this process, this is our limbic system. It's your survival mechanism. So things that really have a lot of meaning to you, if you have financial circumstances that are difficult or living circumstances that are difficult with children or a career or hobbies or something you really want to get back to that's really meaningful to you or important for your survival, in recovery, that can feel scary. Like, well, do I need to work less? How am I going to make money if I'm recovering, if I'm working less or you know, temporarily taking a break from my job or something like that? How am I going to parent my kids while I'm in recovery? Those things are stressful in the moment, but the level of motivation that you have on a limbic survival level to recover is so much higher when you have things that are meaningful to you. And those are the people I actually see succeed way more often are those who have more difficult circumstances and more difficult journeys, but those circumstances are also the things that give meaning and, and drive and motivation for them to recover. And this goes back to one of my biggest statements in this journey is that you are the environment. You're the only environment that counts in the end. That's it. And that's that was the case for me. I told myself that over and over. And it literally took me about six years to get myself to a place where my environment was really good for me. And I was able to fully come out of fight or flight. I'd recovered in there, but I wasn't fully out of fight or flight and freeze yet because it just took a while to get there. But I got there. And, and that's something that I think is, is really good to know that really you are the only environment that matters. Your circumstances, again, in the moment they are important and we need to work on building uh, circumstances that are conducive to recovery and to building safety and calm in the brain. But ultimately, you're the one who has the final say.